Hello everybody, it's Michelle Wells here, your independent stamping up demonstrator from Tasmania, Australia. How are you all today? I'll just wait here for a little bit. Um, I thought I'd pop on and do a live. I'm going to just, I decided I'm going to do this every um, Wednesday now at three o'clock. Give or take that I um, like don't get interrupted. So, but yeah, so, hi Wendy, how are you? Thanks for joining. So, I'm going to do um, probably three or four cards today. Hi Chrissy, um, to, yeah, showcase what I'm doing. So, um, yeah. So anyway, I might pop you down and while I've got you popped down, I'll be able to find myself on my computer. So... Alrighty, I'm going to turn you around so you can see outside to the beautiful sunny day we've got today. It did start off um, overcast, but it's come out quite sunny and warm. So, okay. Alrighty, I'll pop you down there for a minute. Okay. And, um, hi Adele, how are you? So, I'm just... Pop you there and I'll see if I can find myself on the computer and we'll, we'll get started. So, I've got all my brochures here. So, if you um, live in Australia and you don't have a demonstrator, um, I can pop these all out to you in the mail. Um, I'd be quite happy to do that. So, but anyway, alrighty. I think, I, yeah, there I am. I think I've found myself. I have. I'll just share it to a page. And hi, Gail. How are you? So I'll just make sure that I'm, I will share it. Share it to a page. And um, we'll get started. So how are you all today? Any of you have been doing any crafting? So... I um been doing all sorts of things. I've been to to physio today. Um, got a bit more harder exercises, but um, I think I'll cope. Um, so but yeah, okay, done. So about to post now. So I'll just see how my screen looks. I may have to bring it over a little bit. You know, it's funny. I've cleaned all my craft room around and I designed a few things and because I did I've got everything out of whack now and I had to move half my stuff because um, I like couldn't see anything on my desk so I think I've had it too close a while ago so thanks for sharing um, yeah I I promised last week that I um, would um, draw out somebody for um, a prize, like um, for sharing my video, but I'm a bit slack, so I am going to sort that out, and I might do a double drawing um, next Wednesday, so I'll do one for this one, and the one for the Wednesday before, so yeah, so, and um, I'll give a little giveaway, but from today, I'll draw out um the lucky person will receive one of the cards that I've made. So, alrighty, okay. So, like I said, if you haven't got a demonstrator and you live in Australia, um, I'd be happy to post these out to you. Um, this catalogue goes, in, well, these three catalogues go to um, March, I think. Yeah, it's been a while since I've looked at them. It says somewhere there. Oh, this one goes to the 3rd of January to the 3rd of June. Oh, well, there you go. I never knew that. So, but the, the celebration only goes till the 31st of March. So, so if you want these, um, I'd get in quick and so I can post these out. Um, but if you see anything that you like um, while I'm going with the crafting today, please, you can hop onto my online store and um, purchase any item. So, okay, so the first set is, I was going to make this little card here. Well, actually, I'm making these two little cards, 
This is a little easel card. So it just sits up like that. So I'll um, show you how I made that one. And I'm just going to make this one as well. So, so hopefully they're in view. So, alrighty, so we'll get started. So what I needed for those, I'll pop them over there so I can gives me a um so I know what I'm doing is I decided I used the dear doily set and dies and I'm using these um colours this time. This one here was um melon mambo so I've decided I'm gonna use Poppy Parade today. And so I'm gonna use um I'm using the framelits and everything out of the dies um and the stamp set for both of these cards. So, alrighty, the first one is I'm going to make is this one. So, and I've got everything already pre cut. So, I've got a four and a half by, I think it's four and a half. Put that over there. Yeah, four and it's eight by five and seven eighths. And all I done was um, fold it in half. So it makes my base. And then I um, got this framelit here, or both these, this one and this one here. And I just popped them on and I ran them through my um, my big shot. So I thought I'd do that ahead of time. And then I run run it another piece through. Um, the stitch framelits, the rectangle. So I'm loving those at the moment. So that one's from my next one. I'll pop those over there. And um, I just had a little square square bit that I cut out of the rectangle framelits as well. So, so okie dokie. So I'll get all these um, stamped. So I'll get my stamps out. I feel like I'm out of whack at the moment now because all my bits and pieces are all over the place because I had to move it all so I can put my camera stand back there so just bear with me get all my blocks back up here again okay so I'm going to stick that one on a block and that one on a block so, so if, if it's got hot weather where you are I know um Chrissy, you was getting um, hot weather over in Adelaide, so, yeah. Hi, Margaret. Hi, Kathy. If anybody else I've missed, hi. Um, I keep forgetting I've got to look over there at my comments. So, alrighty, I'm going to pop that aside. From, oh, I need another block for that one. So, okie dokie. So all I'm going to do is I'm using um, Poppy Parade and I'm using Smoky Slate. So if I can get them open. So yeah. So what's cute, Margaret? The um, doily, the dear doily. Oh, I had it upside down. So it is a cute set. This one. So. Okie dokie, so I'm gonna um I've gotta get another piece because I don't I hate um ruining like my um clean I'll just get a piece of computer paper. I hate clean um making mess on my grid paper. So that was a good save. I nearly had a ruler go crash bang down on the floor. So alright, I'm gonna start with this one. And I'm just going to stamp off, and I'm just going to stamp on in the corner, and do it again. Stamp off, and stamp on, stamp off, stamp on, stamp off, stamp on. Okay, so that's that colour done. So, oh... That's what I forgot to do. I was going to run out and wet my chamois, but I totally forgot to do that. But hopefully there'll be enough water in there, there too. Um, okay. So we're going to use Smoky Slate for this one. 
and I'm, I've done the same thing. I think I, no, I did. I stamped off once and then I popped the colour there. Stamp off and stamp on. Oh, I'm going to get rid of that one because I'm going to end up having Poppy Parade where I don't want Poppy Parade. Stamp off. Stamp on. Stamp off. Stamp on. These are like, it's pretty quick and easy, this, this one. So, and that's all I've done. Oh, I am one up there. I actually love Smoky Slate. goes with any colour. It's a beautiful colour. And I haven't used Poppy Parade all that much, so I thought, well, I'd give it a go. So, so that's that done. I pop that one aside, and I need to, to do the sentiment now. And I'm just going to put just for you. So I might be careful with the um, cling mount and uh, cling stamps like that. Yep, you pull them off properly. So I actually, I'm going to pop him there on my grid. Hopefully. I'm in view. I'll move myself up. And I just want to get it straight. So I've got that little piece that I've already cut out. And I'm going to do this in Smoky Slate as well. I'll just stamp that off to make sure. And hopefully I get this straight. Hopefully, she says. Yeah, it's good enough for me. So I'm not going to stress over it being not straight. So actually, I've cleaned all those off. I've got a, I've got a. Um, I like to put all my um, cling mount stamps back. Well, not cling mount, cling stamps back because I don't really want them sticking to my block. I've had one that's actually stuck to my block, and yeah, it caused a lot of chaos. So, so that stamp set's out of the way. I'll do this one up. So, oh, the small card, the easel card. Yeah, I'm going to get into that one in a minute. So, so there you go. So that's all that bit done. Oh, and I forgot. I'm going to use um, the stamp set to do this flower here as well. So that's going to be. So I'll show you how I did that one. See if I've got another dobber. That one will do. Okay. Um, oh, what am I looking for? Piece of white cardstock. I need just a long strip. Let's see if that works. Let's see if I can get that in there. Probably won't um, fit. Oh, hang on, we'll turn him around. I wonder if I'll get that to work. We'll see. Okay. So, my stamp set, I need that back again. So. Put that on a block. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to... Um, was I, I need my granny apple green, it's 29 but the 4 day 38 to 40, oh yucky, yes in the 30s, it's hot Chrissy, too hot, so, so all I've done is, I had a dobber, so I I dobbed in the um, granny apple green, and then I just dobbed up the um, the leaves, or up up on the on the petals. I'm um, not petals, the green foliage. I tried this a few different ways, but I wasn't happy with how it turned out, so I decided. Um, and then I just done the. Um, the flowers. I 
and hopefully I'll get it down on here so I can stamp it out ah, cut it out and there you go Isn't that gorgeous it just gives it a nice bit of color so I've got before I actually started stamping up I used to do a lot of stuff with dobbers like I used to make homemade flowers like out of um, paper and cardstock and and I absolutely love it so I thought why not so okay, I'll put that one back there because I'll need that one I'll get these out of the way so okay so I'm just going to run that over to the big shot and I'll be back in a sec I did leave myself just enough to cut that out. So hopefully it works out. We'll soon know. I, I cut it out and show you on my desk, but I'd only wobbled the camera around, so it's easier to do it over here on this part. It's a lot sturdier. So let's see how I went. Voila! There you go, all done. So, you made cards this morning with a set in the grey and yellow that sound nice. So, okay, I'll pop that over there till next time. So, we're going to pop this card together. So, my base. So, all I'm going to do is um, glue. I need glue. I use the I've got one here that I'm trying to um, use but I'll use this one today because I don't want to be there trying to so I just put a little ooh, a little job in the middle because I just want it to stick down in the middle so but um, all I'm gonna do is pop that on to the center of my card and just wiggle it around till you get it to where you want it before you completely firmly press it down oh, I thought I had it around the wrong way then and then I had a heart attack so, bit of glue on the back there but I will stick that um, so that's that part and all I've done is I just glued, before I do that though, I'm going to get my Winker Stella. And I'm just going to, it sort of brings out the colour of the flowers and sort of makes it like, look like it's bushier. So, I quite like that, so. And I'll just pop that there. So, so I'll glue that down. It's the same principle. Oh, before I do that, I actually uh, I sort of give it a the leaves a little bit of a, a bend just to make it look like it's. Now I'm going to just, I just put a little bit of glue, only a little bit. Maybe a little, when I say a little bit, ends up being too much. Okay. Put a lid on that because I don't need that anymore just yet. So, all I've done is work out where I want to put it. down and dimensionals I just used a little tiny dimensional um, I actually cut up cut some off from my um, this one here I just snipped a little tiny bit off just down the end there And I just popped it on the end of um, that flower. I should have done that before I popped it down. Just to give it a little 
bit more of a height so you can see what I mean I just sort of gave it a bit of a 3D look with it um, dimensional thing wants to say and it just sort of gives it a, a bit more of a yeah and the last thing to do is to pop our sentiment on there I just like the white on white so oh actually it's not the last thing to do but um, so I'm just all I'm going to do is pop two dimensionals on the back of there I don't need too many take them off and oh look I've got I, I said I didn't want to um and I've got um colours all over there already. Okay, that's okay. So I'm just gonna pop it down there so it's straight. Yep, that's good. And I don't know. I was going to use this colour, but what do you reckon? The granny apple green? I think it's the granny apple green. So, I think that's pink. That, that still will go alright. I'll sort of give it a bit more. So what do you think, ladies? Do you think the, the green? Or the um the pinky colour. I don't have any um of those, so I'll just scroll down and see what you you think. So yeah, so if you share and type um type shared in the comments, you'll go into a um yeah draw to win one of my cards. So so yeah. So just waiting on you to so. You reckon the green to go with the, the leaves or so the green or the pinky colour so the pinky colour I've got one pinky colour so while you're working that out I will give myself a bit of a clean up here ready for the next one so so we've got pink Yeah, the pinky one looks quite um, quite good. Might go with the pinky one. So, okay, I'll grab my take your pick tool. And you reckon none? Pink, pink. Sorry, Margaret. I think um, what size? Beautiful card colours. What size are your card and card bases? My card bases are um, eight, so eight long. Uh, this is in inches. Eight long and four and a half um, this way. But um, this one's a little bit shorter because I had to accommodate for my um, my stitch frame around the outside. So, but yeah. But you will find, um, I will put these cards on my blog. I'll put them on one by one. Um, and I'll have all the, like, the, the dimensionals, uh, the dimensions of um, the sizes and that. Okay, so we're going to go, um, we'll go that colour. So I'll pop one of those in the middle. And I'm just going to go, I went fours last time. But all I'm doing is just popping them just randomly in the centres of those. And oh, that one didn't go in the centre. Okay, get over there. Okay. Good. Okay. There you go. So that was that card. Pretty quick and simple. Um, I like the quick and simple cards. Um, so I'll pop those back in there. So that was I can't even find. So that was using Melon Mambo 
and that was using Poppy Parade. So which one do you prefer? Which is your favourite? So actually I quite like both of them. But I'm really partial to pink, so I do love pink. Hi Lisa, how are you? Thanks for joining me. Thanks for joining me, ladies. I really appreciate it. And thanks for the hearts. I really appreciate those two. So yeah. If you're new to my channel, um, pop over and um say hi and tell me where you're watching from because I like to um see new people jumping in and so you off to bed Lisa or sleep well I'll hop on love the colour combo okay I had to hop on love the column thank you so so there so that's those two so alrighty we'll move on to the next one so I'll pop those ones shall pop them over there so they're sitting there looking at me so yeah you like the pinky one yeah the melon mambo so alrighty so this is the one that um, you was talking about Margaret I think it was Margaret sorry um, but yeah I'm gonna make this little easel one so this is quite cute too so alrighty so to get started I've already pre-cut everything um, ahead of time so but I will show you how I did it so this is the base so I'll just grab my don't need that one anymore oh yes I do but all I've done is I got a um I think it was three and a half by three and a half or you could make it a little bit smaller make sure that this part here fits in though you get it like we'll just say three and a half by three and a half um three and a half by six was it three and a half and a half by six no that three and a half by seven and then you fold it in half so you get your three and a half by three and a half and then you pop your um die over top so you just like on the folded edge you're popping it over so it's just cutting out you don't want to cut any of this part here you can if you want to it's not going to make any difference but you need to have it so if you can see what I mean on there um, how I've got it so it's just cutting I've got it so it sits right on the edge of that so that edge there doesn't cut out anything so and it's only cutting from there all the way around to there so then when you run it for your big shot and you take it off then you're left with this little fold so, so that's how I did it so quite easy so give it a go you only muck up the once or twice but um to mean you'll it's an easy card to do so if I can do it anybody can do it so so you got that that base so all I like to do is the center one here is what I like to bring it in so it lines up with that fold line and then all I do is fold so that's given you the easel look thanks for the hearts ladies so so then you're left with um that look so I hope you understand that I hope I'm in view because I seem to be sliding down so but um yeah so then once you've got that you get your glue and then you cut out another piece of this like from the same um this part so you just cut out another white piece just like that um and then that just goes gets glued onto the top there so so I'll glue that on so all you do is put glue on the um, not that much glue and um, then you get this piece and you just line him up so just line it up so it's flush so once he's lined up I'll just fold him back down to make sure that when you fold him um, he's all 
all flush so and there you go so there you've got your easel base so you like that idea you love the teeny tiny easel yeah it's cute uh, I like um, like I said before earlier before I um I love making flowers and I've made easel cards out of any dye like that gives you a nice shape so I thought why not I'll share this with you today so all you do is then you should cut a piece um, using the same die but you also pop this middle one in so you've got to um, yeah use both of those to cut that out because if you only use that piece all you're getting is an image just like um, on this card so if you use just that one on your own you're just cutting an image um, you're not cutting the shape out so you need to have your other one to cut that shape out so yeah so all I done was cut that out and I used the um, lovely lipstick um, uh, the foil that's a free celebration item at the moment so yeah so I thought well, I'd use some of that that comes in lovely lipstick and oh, I think it's called um, oh, I can't think of the other color somebody might know so <laughs> Yeah, so I thought, well, I might start using um, some of these. So, but yeah, so all I did was I glued that bit down. So you've got to be very careful here. I just put a little dab of glue just on the little, the little outside bits. You don't need much because once it sticks, it sticks. And... I didn't worry about the outside, I just done the middle and just all the outsides of those little little bits there. And then I just lined it up. And, and I turned him over and I like to just give it a press. And I haven't done the insides because I wanted to show you what I what I'm gonna do. So if you want to make one of these, how you can so there you go, so that's that part done. So I'm gonna get another piece of cardstock. Need a bit bigger piece. And I'll pop that aside, put the lid on the glue. Grapefruit grove. I knew I just couldn't think of it, so but um, you'll have to go to sleep, watch the replay, and make one of those for sure. Definitely do that, Lisa. I'll be happy for you to case these. So they are pretty, cre uh, pretty cute. So you're welcome. Enjoy your sleep, and um, I'll catch you later. You, um, so thank you for joining me anyway. So, so if you... Um, like anyone that does watch the replay, um, yeah, even um, people that watch the replay, um, if you type shared and um, if you share and type shared in the comments, you'll still go into the drawer, providing you live in Australia, because I I can po I can post cards out to so yeah, I probably can post a card out to somebody around the world. I'd be happy to somebody to have my cards so. Okay, so I'm gonna. I've got to grab the dies. I've put them back. This one here, I use the um, the stitch shape framelits. I love these ones. So, and all I'm gonna do is I use this size. I think I did. Yeah. So I'm gonna use that one in a moment, but um, I'm gonna stamp my sentiment if I can find the stamp set of here it is over there isn't it funny you can have a nice clean craft room but as soon as you start crafting um everything goes haywall like pop that one back so I don't um lose him 
So on this one I've got words can't express and then I've got down the bottom just how much you mean to me. I'm going to use the same um, same words can't express. Um, and I'm going to use the um, how very sorry I am for your loss. So I thought I might try that one this time. So hopefully that one will, I might have to do a bit different thing if it doesn't fit in, but um, yeah. Okay, so what colour did I use there? I can't remember what colour I used on that one. I think I used, a, a I used the, um, I think I used that one. I can't remember. Yeah, I wanted a bit bit more subtle so I used the um classic um berry burst so so just gonna ink that one up I'm not gonna even worry about using the thing now because I've already um mucked up and stamped on this part here anyway so so I'm just gonna stamp that down hopefully I've left myself enough um room for where's that stitch framelit so that one will go there that's okay and I'll pop the I'll leave that one there for a minute and then I'm gonna I've not used any of these so okay and I'm just gonna put sorry for your loss down there Okay, so that one I'll put that away and it decided to fall out. Alright, I'm going to run along and I'll um, cut those both out along with another piece of this one. I'm going to use that one as well. And, okay, so I'll cut that one out first. I won't try doing both of them together because they'll end up mucking up. That one's that one down. Okay. Oh, I've lost my dies. Oh, okay. Oh, they are. Really Let's see how I go. I might not get all this in this one. If I don't, oh, I might. We'll see how I go, ladies. Line them up. Okay. I think I've done good. What do you reckon? So. Okay, one more cut. Let's see if that'll fit. Oh, look at that. I just mastered everything out of the same. Um, I need another one of these um, stitch frame circles. Okay, so that's it. Everything's done. So, hi Mandy, how are you? Thanks for joining. Sorry. Okay, so I've got that part. I'm, I'll do the inside first. So. All I'm going to do is I'm going to pop that, but before I do that, I may still have, I do, I still have the, I just inked around the edges um, with the same colour as I used. So all I've done is inked around the edges, and you can probably see a nice little highlight of colour there. So I'll glue that down. And then I'll make sure I get it centered, which is pretty easy because they 
make sure I've got it up the right way. And I've just glued that down. I'll glue, pop that one up on dimensionals. They are in front of me. So, so yeah, no, this is a really quick and easy card. Um, just think outside the box, ladies. So like, look at your dies and just see what you can um, create with them because you can create a lot of easel cards um, with them. So, yeah, so all I've done is, I might have to look up, pop him up there. So all I've done is I pop that up, and then I pop this one up on dimensionals as well. So, if I use those sides. Just use three on those, and, and now I've got um, a couple of like um, a sympathy card and just a, a card for somebody special. So all I'm going to do is I like to use my grid to line to line my card up. So, and then I I'll pop him about there, just see how that goes. Actually, oh, no, he's got to, I've got to take him back up. Lucky I didn't push him right down. No, he's stuck there now, so I will leave that. So, because yeah, I don't want to ruin it. But um, I'll pop my little butterfly on this side. So, so all I've done to get the little butterfly is I use the same, um, the same grapefruit grove and. I need to find a little piece. So I don't need the whole big butterfly. I just want to. So I'm going to use my um, butterfly punch. This one I've actually embossed. But I'm not going to worry about embossing um, the other one. So, so all I'm going to do is with my. Um, I'm just going to punch out a little butterfly there. And pop that one over there. And then I just, I gave him like a bit of a bend. I like to bend him just to give him that 3D um, look. And then I, I used some of these because I wanted a real thin, thin layers. So, I don't know. I'll see how I go with one. And then I just popped a little thin dimensional on the back. And I just and I just popped him there. So there you go. So very quick and easy. So that's those two completely different ones. So so yeah. So that's the one I just did. And. The one I made earlier. So, oh. so, so, what do you think? Very cute. You reckon you could do that? So, and they just close down. It doesn't matter if the little butterfly um, sticks out the edge there, but um, when you do um, give it, um, yeah. And then on the back, this little uh, stitch circle that I used on the inside, you could pop one on the back. And um, put to and from, and um, that's where they can write their little sentiments or whatever they want to write. So, so yeah, so there you go. What do you think about those ones? Okay, move on to the next one. So, 
so I'll pop them over there. I'll be running out of room soon. <laughs> so pop them over there, have a little bit of a clean up here and get rid of all this yucky crap. Okay, I don't need that one anymore. So you can go down there with the framelits. So another good tip is um, with your framelits is to put um, get some um, magnetic sheets and pop your dies on. And uh, another little thing that I'll show you what I do too is um, I've lost my other ones, but I'll find is I've numbered how many dies are in here. So each time I put them in, I know that there's nine dies. So I'll count them before I um, put them away, just to make sure that none have gone missing. So, so yeah. But I'll pop them away. I, I will. I know where the others are over there. So, so alrighty. So here, um, I was doing a two colour combo, and I decided that I wanted to do this one again. Um, but in a different colour, so so I decided this time I used the, another free item. If you um, place a hundred and eighty dollar order, you can get the painted seasons um, stamp set and um, coordinating papers. I think I've got them up here somewhere. I'll quickly show you what they look like. No, not those ones. Hey, when you want something, I thought I had them all out ready to go. No, they've jumped away. Is that them? No. Okay, they're gone. I oh, know who they are. So, gorgeous papers. So, I don't know. That there's beautiful. And on the other side is um, a nice, nice, I think it's Poppy Parade. And then you've got um, this colour with that one. And you've already seen those ones. That one there. And then you've got the nice grapefruit grove, I think, on the back. And then you've got that one with nice green. I think it's tranquil, quiet, uh, tired. So, but yeah, and I, yeah, and I've showed you that one with the background. But yeah, very beautiful. So, yeah, if you've placed a $180 order, um, you get the stamp set and the coordinating paper for free so why wouldn't you <laughs> so okay I'm just checking to make sure you're still with me alrighty so I've decided I'm going to do this one I've got everything all pre-cut this one I'm going to use in the same color as the, um as what I did I'm going to use the free um foil paper again the um lovely lipstick so so alrighty I'll get started and show you how to do that one so my card base like I said is is um I'll use that side is um eight by five and a half yep eight by five and a half and then I just scored in half and this one here I've used the same I've used all the stitched rectangle framelits again so I don't know if I showed you those before but um, yeah they come in all different sizes so so yeah quite like these ones and I've used them in nearly all my um, projects so yeah so we'll get started with that and I'm gonna glue that down I'll glue that one down first I'm loving this like I needed to make a, um, a foil card for a swap that I'm in so I decided um, I'll make one today so all I'm going to do is just glue that onto the um, into this where I want it I like to fold my cards, turn them over and rub them because um, you end up with, and actually I've gone a little bit skew-wiffy there. Oh, that's okay. I'll cut that one down. Oh, see, even I make mistakes. But, oh, 
I'll have to cut that one down and match it up so it's all good lucky this one is um, just a sample one so so I'll pop that one aside and it's the first time I've ever played with the so I will put the glue over there grab my stamp set beside me And then I, all I used was, I used that one, that one, and, okay, that one might fit on there. I need to get my, I've lost my other, can't find them. See, this is the thing. If you don't get these stamps off straight away, they they, they do stick. So um, I'll pop that one back in in the case before I that one gets stuck to something that um, shouldn't have got stuck to. Okay. And I seem to have. Oh no, there he is. Okay. I'll take that one off the block too and put him away. Because I'm pretty good at losing um, stamps. So, okay. And then I use the little, um, the leafy one as well. So, I'm going to use the lovely lipstick. So, while I sort myself out, oh no, which green do you reckon? Granny Apple Green or Pear Pizzazz? So, um, cause I think that one was Granny Apple Green. So, but um, why you um, work that out? I'll I'll come back to that one in a minute. So, just to type in the comments what green um, you reckon you'd like to see. But I'm going to use lovely lipstick. So, oh come on. Okay, so this one here, I don't know if I, I think I stamped off, I did, I've done two different layers, so I've done a stamp on and then I've done a stamp off and then I've done stamp on and then stamp off. So I sort of had the, I don't know what happened there, <laughs> there you go, it's the first time I've ever, seems to have a square around it, I should, might not, it might cover it over anyway, so, hello Carol, how are you, thank you Margaret, so, but yeah, so, okay, so I've done that one, clean that one off, so, I'll pop him back away, so he doesn't um, get stuck somewhere, okay, that's all I need for that one, oh, in a minute I'll I'll use him again. Oh no, I don't need him anymore. Okay, so so did we work out Granny Apple Green or Pear Pizzazz? So thank you, Mandy. So actually, I might to I might try both of them. So. I'll use my um, pear pizzazz on the leaf that's going to go on here. Okay. Mm, it's different. Okay. And I'm going to use Granny Apple Green. I don't know if I stamped on. 
and then I did okay so I'm gonna go There you go. Okay. So, well, I'll leave those there to dry. And I'm going to leave that one open. And I need Happy Birthday. I can't remember which stamp I used the Happy Birthday out of. Um, and I might use... Um, I can't remember. I won't use the happy birthday this time. I might use um, use one of these. Okay. I might try hello beautiful today. So and then I've already done my um, colours here, so hopefully that'll fit in there. Okay, so I'm going to do that in Granny Apple Green. Hopefully I get it straight. Hopefully. Very good. Oh, I did. Okay, so. So now I'm going to pop all this together. I'm going to pop that one on next. And... Glue him on with the glue. Yeah, I don't know how I come to get a little box on there, but um, that's all good. Part of the part of the character of the card, so. so there. I'm not going to move that one around this time because um, last time my card went all over the place. So, see, even the best craft people make mistakes. So, and I'm not, I'm not one of the best either. Like, so I'm going to glue "Hello Beautiful" to my. Um, my foil piece and I'm going to turn that I might go the opposite way this time to last time and I'm just going to put that on there and see it's you've got to be very careful because they slide around on the um, Sorry ladies, I I forgot about I've I've used both, so I use pear pizzazz and um yeah lovely lipstick. Oh, lovely lipstick. Well, I use that too, but um pear pizzazz and um granny apple. So so all I'm gonna do is pop that in the middle with dimensions and um So, I'll pop those there. And... Pop one in the middle. It's the safe keepings. And take the backings off. So has anybody got the um, painted season um, stamp set? So I'm just gonna hold that up so I can 
and I ended up in the middle. And there you go. And on the inside of this one, all I done was um, I might do that. I'll show you what I did on the inside. So I still got my leaves out. I might do peppers as. Oh. I use that flower too. This little one here. Is it that? Yeah, that little one. Okay, I'm gonna. On my colours, they just run away. Does anybody else have that problem? All their stuff runs away. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna pop. I think I did. Yeah, I popped that. Um, I'm gonna pop. Stamp him off, and I'm just gonna stamp him on in there. And I might, I think I stamped the other one a lighter, I did. And then, she stamped him off too. And I, there you go. So, that's my card. So I'll just get rid of these before I have ink everywhere. So, so that's those two cards. So very quick and easy, simple stamping cards. Um, this one here is using the free um, Celebration um, Lovely Lipstick and Grapefruit Grove um, foil paper. So you get that um, free for every $90 that you spend. So, yeah. So what do you think? Which one do you like? You got it today from a beautiful friend. Oh, that's nice. So, yeah. So I, I'm, I don't know which one I like. I'm, I like them both. But um, oh, actually, while I think about it, this one here, I've, I've just put a bit of Wink of Stella around here just to highlight the middle. So, so you don't have to um, put bling. sort of gives it a bit more like shine and there you go quick as that so what do you think so that's those two so I've got one more to go and this one I um, got inspired by Donna Donna Gray she um, made one of these um, and so I decided to give it a go I've made um, I made this one the other day um, using the stamp set by the sea so I've decided um, I'd do that using the DSP from um, the free painted season um, bundle so but yeah so I decided to do that one and um, so I've Decided to do another a, a bit different one this time. So I've decided to do this one And I've made this one and I've cut this one down using the stitch framelits again, so But I'll show you how um, the Rectangle framelits. So I think I used the large one I did so I got the large like I cut it. Um, it was four. I think it was four yeah, I cut my DSP up my cardstock at four by six, and um, was it four by six? It was. Yeah, it was four by six, and then I um, I got that four by six, which is this um piece here, and I put this over. Actually, no, I didn't. I folded that. Oh, actually, I'll show you with the other piece. I'm confusing myself. So I've decided to do the next one in um, in Highland Heather. So so what I've done is I got the um, like I said four by six 
and I folded it in half like I scored it for. Um, so you had that little side on this side and um, folded it in half. And then I got my die and I just, I actually will put it on over the, um, the page. Like, so I was cutting, it doesn't really matter where you put it, as um, long as it's up flush to the thing, because it'll cut out. And then I cut the shape out, and that's how I got the stitched around the outside. So I weren't really worried about it not being in here, so, but um, that's how I did that part. And then I got another piece. Um, Using the same stitched, um, it's another smaller one out of the um, these framelits here again. So, and then I cut another two with those as well. So, I just used different ones again. So, they'll go over top of there. So, we're there. So I'll show you how I put all that one together. So that was my outside. So I'm going to use the butterfly um, gala. I think it's butterfly gala. Yeah, butterfly gala, which is over here because I used it just a second ago. And I'm going to use a different butterfly this time to that one. So I use that one. I might use this one this time. So pop him up there. Take him off. I might. I'll pop him there. And I'm going to use the Highland Heather. And I'm actually going to um, pop in Mango Melody. So I'm going to do it just a bit different. So I'm going to start off with this one. So... I'm just going to pop a little bit of him there so that will give it a bit of colour there and I'm going to pop another one down here enough for that one and then I'm going to get the Highland Heather and I need to um, wipe him off because I don't want him coming through with that colour so I'm going to use the Highland Heather and I'm going to pop him going that way I reckon right there There you go. So that just sort of gives it, um, you like the red one best, but both are great. Thank you. Thank you, girls. Um, but yeah. So that one there will just go on there. So I'll just glue that one on there in a minute. And while I'm at it, I'll glue these ones here as well. But I'll sit them ones aside with, um, I need a sentiment, so I'll pop him back in there, and I don't know what I'm going to, I might just have a, a little note this time, just a little tiny, and inside I might just pop um, thank you later, so, and I just need a bit of white, blank piece of white cardstock, and then I'm just, I'll pop that in, actually, yeah, no, I'll do that in this one, a little note. like that one. I'll turn them over again. I 
it's better. Okay, and then I'll get those butterflies back out again because I need to do a, a butterfly on there as well. So, I don't know if you can hear that, but my cat's at the door wanting to come in. <laughs> Little turd. Actually, I've done the wrong one. It's what happens when I'm not paying attention. I'm listening to the cat. So, okay. Grapefruit, mango melody. So, I'm going to just pop that down there. And then I'll get my little tiny jiggle in the middle. That stamp's going everywhere. And I'm just going to pop a little one in there. I don't need the um, the other one, so I won't worry about that one. But um, so. Better pop that away before I stick that to something. Okay, so now I'm going to use my um, my punch and my butterfly punch, and I'm just going to line it up in there and. There you go, it's done. So now I'm going to start assembling. So I'm going to glue that one to there. To the outside of there. And this one just sits, sort of gives it a little tiny border up the top. But, um... Gives it just a nice little bit either side. So, that bit there's done. I'll glue these two bits here together. This little bit it would be nice if it was embossed too. So, maybe that's something I'm going to try next time. So. There goes my phone. Hopefully hubby will answer it. He's probably gone outside. Or we'll either get interrupted in a minute, so somebody will so I might grab my other punch. Know how this will work, but um, I'll give it a go. Might be a little bit too. I don't know. It might. I've just decided I might just punch this little one out with this punch. And this one's called the classic label punch. I nearly had a heart attack then. I'm thinking, oh no, but it's the other way around. So, okay, so now I'm just going to put a bit of glue on this side here. This is where I find it hard because I'm, I'm left-handed and trying to get it um, lined up. So... And then, I don't need that anymore, just need my dimensionals, um, which I've seen to a block. I'd love to show you a photo of what my side of my table here looks like. <laughs> it's a mess. 
So, see, I'm, I do think I probably net can get away with that little bit there for my butterfly. So I'll pop him on the on the sticks of my fingers now. Try those and see how they go. Okay, I don't want to come off. Okay, You have that paranoid stage when you hear the phone ring and you think, um, yeah, you're going to be cut off. So, alrighty, so all I'm going to do is um, line that up there. And then I'll take the backing off this one and um, actually I'll pop him there. A little bit of Wink of Stella. Make sure I I want to highlight that butterfly. And then I'll give him a bit of a bend up. He just decides he wants to. And there you go. So, what do you think? So, it's either that one or that one. Two completely different cards, so I think I like the style of the butterfly in this one, but um, the colours are cute on this one, so, but yeah. So what do you think? So, alright, I'll have a clean up here, and um, I'll bring all those cards back in, and you can see what I've created today, so, because I've actually gone 15 minutes over what I was going to... I thought I'll see if I can get it all done in an hour or so but um, obviously if I wanted to I could probably put that actually I will I'll put that little butterfly on I will find my little little why not it's no point wasting him I'll put my little center in the middle actually oh no there he is little block Okay, I've lost my little block. There he is. Take that one off. A little bit of mango melody. And I'll just pop a little centre in that one. Just uh, finish him off. There you go. And I might just glue him down that one. So just pop a little bit of glue on that one because I don't want him him to mention. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop him there. I'll hold him for a second. And then later I'll I'll pop his wings and that all up so so you can yeah. But all these will be on my blog, so um, if you want to know anything, um, yeah, just pop over there. So that was those two. Actually, I'll... Right, so that was those two. That was those two. With the... Those two. Hopefully I've got them all in, in view. And those two. So, 
So we'll see how I go. See if I, I've got them all in view. And um, yeah. Just let me know which one you will try. And um, But like I said, if there's anything that you liked here today, um, I'm happy to um, like... You can pop on my my online store and um, and yeah, you can pop on my online store and um, purchase these items. Um, like I said, the um, foil is a free item if you spend ninety dollars, um, and the yeah the painted. Um, this bundle here, the painted um, season stamp set and um, the papers. If you spend $180, you get those for free as well. Um, plus, on the 1st of March, there'll be... Um, you can buy the matching framelits to um, go with these flowers. So, so yeah. So, But they're all my cards today, so... I hope you enjoyed um, my crafting today. So I've actually gone out of my comfort zone today and I've done more cards than I normally do because I'm thinking I'm thinking about coming on twice a week but just doing um, half an hour um, like quick cards. I don't know. So, But um, yeah, I've, I'd still like to... Um, at the moment, I might just stick to one, one day a week because... Um, Getting these cards organised and um, sometimes gets a bit, um, yeah. But like I said earlier, if you haven't got a demonstrator and you live in Australia and you'd like the catalogues um, popped out to you, I'd be happy to do that. Just leave, um, send me a message or um, on the bottom of, um, I'll link all my details um, to my page where you can join my mailing, mailing list. So, but yeah. So I hope you enjoyed that and um, I won't keep you too much longer. So um, I know I've got a couple more things to do today So, and um, I've got to go cook tea as well. So, But anyway, thanks for joining me and um, until next time, I will see you later. Bye for now.